This is ABC 7 News at 5.30. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. The ride-sharing services Uber and Lyft will soon be allowed to operate in the city of Venice. The city had implemented its own regulations for drivers, but new state regulations will make it easier for Uber and Lyft drivers to work all over the state of Florida. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley shows us how. Good evening. If you're someone who prefers to not be behind the wheel, Uber and Lyft are on their way to help. If you think Uber or Lyft is just for people of a younger generation, consider this. I'm looking forward to uh, using Uber on a regular basis. Ralph Cook got his driver's license at 13. That was in 1933. Today he's 97 and no longer drives. Hard adjustment to take after being uh, a freewheeler for so long. But Cook was not going to be confined to his home. He lives just outside Venice city limits and so he decided to sign up for Uber and has since used it to get around. One has a uh, smartphone, they can get an app for that. Venice implemented its own rules and regulations on Uber and Lyft. It was complicated for drivers to get permission to drive within the city, but starting July 1st, all of that changes. What's different with the new law is that it's put uniform regulations in place as opposed to kind of more of a patchwork. Now drivers will have to pass only state regulations and that'll make it easier for drivers and passengers. People have been asking for this service on both ends. People want to drive, people want to be picked up. And so now we're going to make that available for them in one uniform sense. And that's happy news for Cook, who looks forward to calling Uber next week to go out to dinner in downtown Venice. It'll make me feel younger being able to get out again, once again. Both Uber and Lyft can be accessed via a computer or a smartphone. And by the way, Cook plans on purchasing a smartphone so that he can order Uber wherever he goes. In Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Christopher, thank you. A follow-up now on a plan to build a hotel and business complex on airport land in Venice. This week, the city council agreed to begin negotiations with a local developer, Venice Realty Group, to build a 116-room hotel on Venice Municipal Airport property. The Rainling Circus used to spend its winters on that plot of land. The Venice Realty Group wants to build a four-story hotel there, as well as retail buildings, shops, and restaurants. Because the project involves airport land, the FAA must still approve the lease. The City Council must also give final approval. The Sun Coast may slowly be changing its image when it comes to being a desirable place to work for young entrepreneurs. The personal finance website MoneyRates.com is listing the Sarasota Bradenton Northport area as the number one city in the nation with the most welcoming climate for young business owners. According to the site, the chances for business success are excellent on the Sun Coast. The reasons are because it's one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas. It's young adult affluence, educational attainment of a bachelor's degree or higher, and the business-friendly tax environment. With the excitement of the 4th of July holiday, it can be easy to forget not all the festivities are good fit for your pets. But there are some things you can do to ensure your four-legged friends have a very safe holiday. First, keep pets inside during the fireworks celebrations. Fireworks can be terrifying for pets and can cause stress. Be sure to keep your pet in a safe space, close doors and windows, maybe leave the TV on as well to serve as a distraction. And if you take your pet to an event, make sure it's wearing an identification tag. Watch for unsafe foods and decorations. Also, keep your pet away from the grill and any alcohol as well as sparklers, fireworks or anything that could harm them. You just have to think before you encourage your dog to be a part of any festivities. And remember the most important thing is that dogs feed off of us. If we're stressed and we have anxiety, they're going to get stressed and anxious. Owners should also have a clear recent photo of their pet just in case the animal does run away. 
Hundreds of boat racing fans are filling downtown Sarasota as we speak for tonight's block party. Earlier today, diehard fans had a chance to meet some of the drivers at a meet and greet event at the Hyatt Regency on Sarasota's Bayfront. One racer who has been to the Sarasota Offshore Grand Prix nearly a dozen times says this is his favorite event of the year. You know, the fans down here in Sarasota, they this race has been here for so long that they just come out and like droves. It's it's excellent. They love seeing the boats and here in the pits they can come up and meet the drivers, throttle them in, and then they can go to the beach and watch the race. So it's really it's really a great sight. Also at today's event, there were a number of vendors outside the ballroom. And starting tomorrow, the power boats will race across the Sun Coast in front of thousands of fans. And one of the biggest events of the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival is the Big Block Party. ABC 7's Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan joins us now live from Main Street in Sarasota, where that event, the Big Party, is about to get underway. Bob? That's right, Scott. The boats just went by me right now. Some of the big boats, too. We got Jimmy Johns. We also have Alex and Annie are here. Uh, all the big boats are lined up here on Main Street and many more to come as we move through time tonight here in downtown Sarasota for the big block party. And a lot of the blocks are roped off. So traffic is a little bit difficult as far as parking goes. Uh, plan accordingly. And it looks as though we are looking at a pretty nice night right now. Generally, uh, partly cloudy skies here. We have a nice sea breeze. West Coast sea breeze is still in here. If those winds were to switch around to the east, then certainly we'd be in trouble. But uh, so far, out of the west is a good sign, meaning that the West Coast sea breeze has pushed well inland. There's some heavy storms down to our south and uh, through South Sarasota County. Okay, here's the maps. We'll show them to you right now. Titan radar picture zeroing in at line of intense storms now, mainly east of the interstate, although down near as I said, Northport, some heavier showers there near Port Charlotte. The sea breeze kind of holding everything off right now. We'll see if that gives way later on tonight. But for the time being, come on out. Should be a nice night. Enhanced satellite imagery for the tropics. Not showing much going on out there. We were watching a system coming off the coast of Africa, but it's not going to have much of a chance of developing as we move through time. Now, we are anticipating generally fair conditions uh, through this evening, as I mentioned, as a result of a large area of high pressure which continues to dominate. Now, the chance for showers through this evening, about 30% for scattered storm uh, to move on in, like we, like we saw last night. Right now, most of the activity well east of the interstate. Uh, temperatures currently in the upper 80s to mid 80s near the coast. Northport, though, cooling down to 79 there. Port Charlotte, 77 and 79 in Arcadia, 84 in Wachula, and still a warm 91 into Parish. That wind flow as far as the forecast goes, will not be all that strong uh, through the next couple of days. We're going to see basically an east wind, and it'll switch around to a west wind in the afternoon and evening. Uh, we'll see those showers and storms developing along that sea breeze front. The races begin tomorrow. I know the Geico boat, the P1 class, will start just after 1030, and they're going to have three races uh, this particular year. They have one on Saturday, I think two. Day. There's going to be a lot of race action out on Lido throughout the weekend. The wheels to be pretty good for those events. I should get out there, as you may have seen earlier, on the Geico boat, the 300 horse. And we tore it up right there in the Gulf of Mexico, and it was a lot of fun. But you can see behind me, the boats are gathering. They're lined up more on the way. Alex and Annie are here, as I mentioned, as well as we're going to see the Geico boats show up here in just a little bit. People are starting to fill the street uh, for a big block party. We got live music being played, uh, as well as uh, some DJs in the house, and a lot of the roads blocked off, and some nice places. You can stop by the official merchandise, too, of the Suncoast Charities for Children. That's who this whole event benefits, about five different charities for children here along the Suncoast, so it is a worthwhile event. Uh, back to you guys. I'll have more on the uh, weather coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. It was a case of road rage on a Pennsylvania highway that escalated to one man shooting a young woman in the head. And now authorities are hunting for her killer. The victim was only 18 years old and had plans to go to college next year in Jacksonville. ABC's Maggie Ruley has the latest on the investigation. A manhunt in three states is underway for the man in this faded red pickup truck. This is the composite that was just provided by an eyewitness, white male, uh, Caucasian, uh, early mid 20s to early 30s. Authorities say he gunned down Bianca Robertson in an apparent case of road rage. She was a good girl, honor roll student, looking forward to going to college. 
The recent high school graduate was driving home by herself in Chester County, Pennsylvania, after shopping for college clothes with her mom and grandma. When police say she merged onto the highway, docking for position with another car. And a man in the red pickup truck pulled out a gun and shot her in the head, killing her. Robertson's car then crashed into a ditch and the man fled. She's so young and to go through something like that by herself, um, she had to have been pretty scared. To find out the updates of last night of her being shot was just, that's what really hit home for me. The Chester County District Attorney calls it a totally random, senseless act of violence. To that man who fired the shot, turn yourself in now. Every second you were out there, you were only making this worse for yourself and worse for this young lady's family. Experts say if you find yourself the victim of road rage, do not make eye contact. Never approach the window of another car. And remember, you don't always have to win. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Tennis superstar Venus Williams is being blamed for a deadly car crash in South Florida. It happened back on June 9th. Police in Palm Beach Gardens say Williams had a green light when traffic forced her to stop in the middle of an intersection. The light then turned red while her SUV was still in the middle of that intersection. When she was able to move, she drove right into the path of an oncoming car. Williams says she never saw that car. The driver of the car, Linda Barson, told police she had a green light. She was seriously hurt in the crash. Her 78-year-old husband, Jerome Barson, died two weeks later. This is the man she loved. Um, she's been married for 35 years, and she is absolutely devastated. Family has now filed a lawsuit. Williams tells ABC News the crash was an unfortunate accident and expresses her deepest condolences to the family who lost a loved one. Williams has not been ticketed or charged. A follow-up now on the two teens accused of setting fires that decimated East Tennessee, including Gatlinburg. Law enforcement decided to drop the arson charges against the teens. Multiple agencies poured through documents and videos and spoke with more than 100 witnesses since the fire started in November of 2016. Officials say they cannot prove the teens were criminally responsible for the fatalities and the intense damage the fires caused over the course of four days. 14 people were killed in wildfires last year. A parking brake problem is behind a massive recall for Mazda vehicles. The company is recalling nearly 228,000 cars in the United States. Mazda says water can get into the brake caliper, causing a shaft to corrode and bind. If that happens, the parking brake can get stuck in the on position or fail to fully engage, in, which can cause cars to roll unexpectedly. The recall covers certain Mazda 6 cars from the 2014 and 15 model years and the Mazda 3 from 2014 through 2016. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, a group effort to keep the number one beaches in the world in pristine condition. What Sarasota County is doing to make sure our beaches aren't trashed this holiday weekend like they were on Memorial Day. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. It's a star-spangled 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. With two and a half acres, Bacon's is Southwest Florida's largest furniture showroom. Beautiful furniture in any style, for any budget. With savings of 30, 50, even 70% off throughout the store. Celebrate your independence with extra savings on all Flex Steel furniture. Come see why Bacon's is voted the number one place to buy furniture year after year. The 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. 
back. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Get ready for the most hair-raising event of the summer. Feld Entertainment and the Ringling Museum present international circus superstar Bello Na in Incredibello, a gravity-defying, laughter-inducing, super stunt performance. Live at the historic Oslo Theater. Don't miss out on the must-see event of the summer, Incredibello, playing June 13th through July 29th. For tickets, visit ringling.org today. What Florida city is best known for space flight? Cape Carnival. Cape Carnival? Close enough. What condiment includes vinegar, molasses, and anchovies? West Chester sauce? Close enough. And now, a word from our sponsors. One off from the Florida Lottery. Now available for pick two, three, four, and five games. Miss by one on any or all numbers and still win. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Are new moms becoming less common? The findings of a new CDC study on fertility might surprise you. ABC's Janae Norman looks at this pregnancy trend. You might not have noticed, but American women on average have been having fewer and fewer babies with each decade. And today, a new CDC report on what's known as the national fertility rate. That's the rate at which American women are having babies. It's on the decline, dropping in fact by a full percentage point between 2015 and 2016. What's driving this drop? Teenagers and young women. In 15 to 19 year olds, the birth rate dropping by 9% to the lowest it's ever been. And in women in their early 20s, the rate fell by 4%, also a record low. But in older women, births are on the rise. 30 to 34 year olds posting a 2% gain in births in 2016 compared to 2015. And for 35 to 39 year olds, the birth rate surging 4%. The figures, a sign that more women may be waiting longer to have kids. And while this choice can come with its own challenges, advances in caring for these older new moms are putting the experience of having that new baby within reach. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman. Well, if you're heading out at the beach over the holiday weekend, make sure to take your trash and belongings with you when you leave. Over the Memorial Day weekend this past month, piles of trash and litter were left on Siesta Beach from the large crowds. So to try to make sure that does not happen again, this weekend, Sarasota County is reminding everyone to pack in and pack out. Volunteer groups will be out in force over the weekend to provide trash bags along with portable and disposable ashtrays. Temporary signs are also going up at all county beaches to remind people to get rid of litter. One of the main things that our visitors and residents can do is just be responsible. Just take pride in the wonderful resources that we have here. Let's leave everything as pristine as it is when you arrive. Uh, let's keep our beaches clean and safe. Additional dumpsters will also be placed at South Lido Beach, Siesta and Turtle Beaches, along with the North Jetty. And now we're going to check back in with ABC7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. He's joining us live from the boats on Maine. This is the block party for the boat races coming up this weekend. Bob. Yeah, Apparently we're that. having some audio issues. Yeah. We've been having some technical difficulties with Bob's live shot today. So hopefully we'll get that back up and running. But. Yeah. We'll be right back. The Alfa Romeo Quadrifolio charmed us all and crippled the competition. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. 
Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Sarasota Ford. The Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix was first organized in 1985. What began as an annual beach picnic for local children with special needs has expanded into an 11-day festival with the races televised to more than 100 countries. The entire festival is produced by Suncoast Charities for Children. The Grand Prix not only generates revenue for charity, but also a significant economic impact. Last year's event generated an economic impact of $37 million. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Call to see if you qualify to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan right now. At Humana, we believe great things are ahead of you when you start with healthy. And part of staying healthy means choosing the right Medicare plan. Humana can help. With original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits when you're sick, but keep in mind, you'll have to pay a deductible for each. A Medicare supplement plan can cover your deductibles and coinsurance, but you may pay higher premiums than you do with other plans. And prescription drug coverage isn't included. But with an all-in-one Humana Medicare Advantage plan, you could get all that coverage plus Part D prescription drug benefits. All for an affordable monthly plan premium, and in some areas, no plan premium. It's all described in this free book in DVD. Call for yours and discover how an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana could save you money. Call 1-800-558-8779. Alfa Romeo got a lot right with the Julia, but the handling alone is sufficient reason to get one. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Hey, uh, back here, we got the audio problems worked out, I believe. I hope you can hear me. If not, we'll do the same thing over again. Uh, we are looking at some storms well to the east and southeast of this downtown location right now in Sarasota. We are at the block party, and the boats are still coming. Uh, right now, we had a, a full uh, slot of them come up through about 10 minutes ago or so, and, and more are on the way, I've been told. And the people are starting to fill up down here uh, along uh, the boardwalk here in Sarasota. Let's take a look at the maps to show you what's been going on. Van Wazel webcam showing uh, some clouds around. and. Pretty nice day today, really. Not bad at all out there. Looks as though we'll continue to see that kind of weather over the upcoming days. Hi, how are you? You having a good time? You getting ready for the 4th? All right, people just kind of walking around. Hey, save the dates. Yeah, here we go. There we got the, uh, good to see you guys. All right, I'll tell you, there's the weather headlines. Um, storms closer to the coast. Mainly afternoon and evening storms. And uh, this water fest guys just went by from Inglewood. They gave me the save the dates for November for the big boat races down there. No, we don't have Cindy anymore. Cindy's gone, but uh, we do have some showers and storms around. Uh, basically, along the sea breeze, as you can see, uh, scattered about parts of Hardy now into eastern Manatee County. Some of the storms could be rather heavy rainmakers too, as the atmosphere is pretty juiced up right now. That sea breeze has really penetrated inland earlier today. That's where those storms fired off right there. And you can see that activity now, fairly significant now, just to the east of Lakewood Ranch by about four miles or so. It is moving very slowly to the west. So look at that tremendous amount of lightning occurring too in the eastern sections now of Manatee and Sarasota counties. Well, high pressure, located down to the south, continuing to bring us a little bit of a west flow, but generally an east to southeasterly wind flow. And currently we do have 88 degrees, clear skies, and the dew point is at 70. And the relative humidity is 65 percent. We have a west wind at 9, and the pressure now 30.07 inches. Well, the high today was in the low 90s, a 90 degree high, 76 was the morning low. And uh, no rainfall to report for the month now. We're at 11.07 inches uh, for the month, and uh, we're 3.56 inches above average. Uh, temperatures across the area, the cooling in New, uh, Northport at 79, 79 into Port Charlotte, and winds generally very light tonight out of the east and southeast. Let's a little sea breeze kick in tomorrow afternoon. 
and that sea breeze will bring us a chance for those showers and storms away from the coast, mainly inland, it looks like. The hourly forecast does call for that, too. High temperatures generally into the upper 80s as we push through time tomorrow. And uh, the rain chance a little higher on Sunday than it is on Saturday. Well, future cast indicating those showers and storms each and every afternoon, uh, followed by uh, some clear skies after midnight. Uh, we'll see that, I think, through the weekend. And the satellite imagery not uh, showing up right now, but there's nothing going on in the uh, Caribbean at this point, so nothing to worry about at that point. Now, as far as the forecast goes, the seven day looks like this, a 40% chance for showers on Saturday. Sunday, the rain chance uh, still at 40%, although a little higher along the coast. And then uh, that Wednesday, 4th of July, should be on Tuesday instead of Wednesday, unless you want to extend it and have another day off. 50% chance for rain, scattered storms on Thursday and Friday. Well, get a look at this. I know this is here, some video of a dolphin. A small one at that, a baby dolphin swimming near Cortez, just born recently. I think we're on the video. And you can see it right there uh, with its mom and dad and making its way off toward the, uh, the, the, the gulf there, learning how to swim and eat and have a lot of fun there. Appreciate that video uh, sent in from the captain that you see right there, Captain Scarlet. Again, uh, and then get a look at this. One of the most uh, unusual ways to catch a snook. From the third floor balcony, these guys are amazing catching that uh, snook from the third floor balcony from these guys. Uh, really enjoyed that shot. Uh, it took a while. They had to throw the pole back down to someone waiting on the ground. It got caught up in the rocks there. And it looks as though, again, uh, fishing not the best this weekend. But there's a lot of boat traffic out there, so uh, be aware of that. And uh, we are going to see, it looks like, just those scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms last throughout the next several days. In fact, the next couple of months, for that matter. Uh, looks to be pretty good weather here right now. A lot of people are showing up here in downtown Main Street for, again, the all boats and the drivers are here. Uh, we're going to talk to our good friend in just a little bit uh, from Alex and Annie. Uh, we're going to go down there and see if we can see their boat. People sign it they did last year and they took it out and raced it uh, over the weekend the race weather looks to be pretty good too for that well much more on our forecast and this uh, block party coming up a bit late back to you guys okay bob thank you oscar nominated actor james cromwell will spend time in jail for refusing to pay fines related to his arrest at a protest at a power plant a town judge in New York sentenced Cromwell to seven days in jail. Cromwell was among a group found guilty of obstructing well, really traffic at a sit-in back uh, in December at the site of a natural gas fire power plant being built uh, in the area. The protesters say the plant poses a threat to the environment. Cromwell says he hopes that people can see the injustice of this sentence and that others may be inspired to join the pickets. And the dreamer's just a vessel that must follow where it goes. A performance by Garth Brooks that is out of this world. The country megastar serenaded two astronauts at the International Space Station while they circled 200 miles above the Earth at the speed of five miles a second. Brooks sang his hit song, The River, on the phone to them. The astronauts, Peggy Whitson and Jack Fisher, were very excited to get this call. They are both big Brooks fans. Mm -hmm. The days of vinyl are slowly coming back. Do you believe that? Sony Music Entertainment says it will start pressing vinyl records again for the first time in nearly three decades. The legendary record label stopped making the records back in 1989 when CDs became all the rage. But now many music fans, both young and old, are once again spinning the black circle. A consulting firm says vinyl sales have enjoyed double-digit growth for seven straight years and sales could reach $900 million this year. Isn't that, is that something? crazy. But I believe it because now everywhere I go, especially little boutique shops, not just record stores, I mean, even Dillard's, they are selling these records because it's, I, you know, we were talking about this the other day, all these vintage things coming yeah. back, the throwback stuff, everyone likes that, they yeah. want to feel nostalgic, so this is another way to do that. And the CDs have gone by the wayside, so... And people who, who really love music, mm -hmm. they say there's a certain sound that right. you get from a record player that you can't get from true. you know an electronic device. Yeah, and so. it's, I think this is cool because now younger kids can understand what these yeah. records are. Yeah. We'll be right back.